Uh, but I'd like to yield to Dr. Harris. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate it. And I appreciate all the witnesses. I apologize in advance to Ms. Press. I'm not going to be able to hear, hear your testimony, but I, but I will read your, uh, your written statement. Uh, you know, as, as some of you may know, I mean, I, I travel with the Helsinki Commission and we visited Armenia uh, this July. Uh, we were on the border with Azerbaijan. We saw the encroachments. We heard the stories. We met with people who, had, who were, uh, I, I will use the term forcibly extracted from the NK region because that, that, that's the way you have to describe it. I mean, the bottom line is they were left with no choice but to leave. Uh, I am most, there are two issues I want to bring up. One is I'm most disturbed by the destruction of, um, of um, uh, well, what, what can best be described as cultural buildings. I mean, it, my, my, it was my first visit to the South Caucasus, and, uh, you know, if you, if you go and visit the, you know, the monasteries that are, uh, you know, a thousand years old, I mean, th these are tremendous world heritage sites that, that should be preserved and never destroyed, and I'm very bothered by the obvious evidence from the imagery you show that, that uh, there's destruction going on for no good reason, really for no good reason. And uh, that is something we have to deal with. But the other issue that, that makes it very difficult, and um, I have to think, and maybe with your help you'll make some suggestions, how do we deal with Turkey? Because I will tell you, I, I'll tell you a little anecdote. So my wife doesn't really like to fly, but she was with us on this congressional delegation as the spouses travel with the Helsinki Commission. And uh, we were going to Malta from Yerevan. Now, if you look at a map and you draw a line from, from uh, you know, uh, Yerevan to Malta, I'm like, ah, it's not that long a flight, don't worry. You know, it, you, know you go right over Turkey, or you know, it's right there. Uh, we look out the airplane window, and all of a sudden, we're not flying over Turkey. We're flying over the Black Sea. And uh, the next day, we asked the pilot, like, hey, how come we didn't go straight? And, like, Turkey refused the airspace. Now, this is a NATO ally. We're traveling on a... U.S. government airplane and a NATO ally refused us airspace because we had visited Yerevan. We have to deal with that. I'm sorry, we, we simply have to deal with that. Uh, and that's on us. I mean, we, you know, uh, again, in the region, if you look at uh, the last 70 years, Turkey has been our ally for those 70 years, no other country has. I mean, Russia hasn't, Georgia hasn't, Azerbaijan hasn't, Armenia hasn't, Turkey has been. And yet at this point in time, it seems that our uh, uh, most lengthy relationship with an ally is the one that is in fact, I will use the term, betraying some of the uh, trust we have in some of our allies to do the right thing. Uh, but we will deal with that because increasingly it was clear that the, uh, what happened uh, uh, with the NK region and what I'll call the extraction of uh, 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 Armenians from the region was complicity between the Russians, the Turks, and the Azerbaijanis. It's pretty clear. I mean, uh, they all had a hand to play. It's pretty clear. Uh, and again, I'm, I'm going to have to apologize. I have to leave. Uh, I hope to revisit the region. I hope that I'm glad to hear that when we come to the region, it actually results in a turn. A, a, hopefully turning down the level of, uh, of uh, I, I could use the term violence, but I will say of the uh, ability of our Azerbaijanis to exert influence uh, that, that shouldn't be exerted in the region. Uh, and I would, again, I would hope that our government takes a very strong position, looks at what happened. And that now, that now the records are in. We know what happened in 2020. We know what happened in 2022, 2023. We know what, we know what happened. The evidence is in. The evidence is clear that uh, cultural heritage sites, especially the religious sites, are being destroyed for no good reason. Um, and we shouldn't tolerate it. Uh, it's up to us to figure out how uh, how we solve that issue, but it is an issue that does that obviously does need to be solved because we do need to stand uh, against that that kind of behavior. Uh, it's tricky, as you all know, difficult part of the world, a rough neighborhood. Uh, but again, uh, I, I thank you all for your testimony here today. Uh, again, bringing in in my case for me, but of course the uh, entire commission up to date on what is, on what is happening in that part of the world. And with that, Mr. Chairman, I'm going to yield back, and uh, I do have to leave. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you, Dr. Harris, uh, for your comments and for your leadership.